Good morning, guys. Ingemar here. We are all aware of the amazing towing capabilities of the Grenadier. Today, we're going to take them to the test. Good, here we are. Today's task is going to max out the limits of the towing capacity of the Grenadier, which are 3.5 tons, as you know, which is roughly 7,700 pounds. We are going to pick up this new toy over there. A nice little tractor weighing roughly 2,600 kilograms, which is 5,700 pounds. Together with the empty weight of the trailer, we are at 3.46 tons, uh, so 7,700 pounds pretty much at the maximum. As you can see, the new toy is securely loaded on the trailer. We are ready to go. We see how Loki performs. On the trip ahead of us, roughly 350 kilometers, shuttling four and a half to five hours because we have to keep the speed low. I'm going to talk about the handling and of course, the fuel consumption. We have already the first 100 kilometers completed. The performance of the car is really, really nice. The Grenadier does it very smooth. Um, the handling is great. Of course, you can feel the weight in the back, but it's still very safe, very stable. Um, we are cruising along with 80 kilometers per hour, which is the maximum legal speed limit here in Austria if you have a trailer weight like that. And are currently on the sixth gear because it's uphill at 2200 rpm normally when it's flat it when it goes up to the seventh gear 1800 rpm cruising along on the first 100 kilometers which were uh, mainly uphill going up a mountain pass here uh, we have an average fuel consumption of 18 liters per 100 kilometers mpg down below and uh, we'll come back on that once the whole trip is completed because then we have a better value because it's going up and down along the route. So far, quite impressed and I really like it. Here you can see the statistics for the whole trip, the whole 341 kilometers. We had an average speed of 72 kilometers per hour, which equals 45 miles per hour. This resulted in a fuel consumption of 15.6 liters per 100 kilometers, which equals 15.1 miles per gallon US and 18.1 miles per gallon UK. So my conclusion, actually it performed as expected. The fuel figures were slightly lower than anticipated, to be honest, handling was great. So it actually delivers as promised. I hope you found also this video informative. You could find a few informations, values, figures that you were not aware of. If you liked it, please subscribe and see you the next time. Thank you.